hello hello guys this is Shar. welcome back to the channel thank you so much for returning now i was going to do a video about this because i don't watch basketball wise i'm not a fan of evelyn lozada's and this news about her daughter sana or sana or shana or whatever her name is um being pregnant by the game is old about three weeks old i don't even know if it's a month old about three four weeks old but I did want to come on when I saw or came across this little clip, this little video that she did basically retracting her friendship with Tiffany Cambridge. Tiffany Cambridge is the game, aka Jason Taylor's baby mama, his second baby mama, um, the mother of his two kids Callie dreams and justice now it looks like they've been friends for a decade if not one two two decades at the very least if it's not two it's one decade but they've been friends for a long time okay now will Evelyn Lozada give Tiffany Cambridge her kidney? Maybe not. But girl, you were her friend. or or And she was your friend. Now she's walking it back because obviously it's the obvious. Her daughter is pregnant by uh, Tiffany's baby daddy. And it's crazy. It looks crazy. And it looks trife. Now, in Evelyn's defense, her daughter, Sanae or Sanae or Shana or Sana or whatever her damn name is, is a grown-ass woman. Make her own decisions. Can have relations with whomever she pleases. So, technically, in, in Evelyn's defense, and, and mind you, I'm not a fan of Evelyn. Evelyn is a ghetto savage, okay? But, and you know Sana or Shana or whatever her name is she made the choice to lay down with the game she made that choice not Evelyn would Evelyn have done it I think so for a bag I, I do believe so I do but you know like mother like daughter just like Jackie uh, Christy said years ago on 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 Basketball Wives when uh, Jackie and Evelyn was beefed out on the show, she told Jackie, "Your daughter is a builder whore." <laughs> In other words, you know, you grooming your daughter to be just like you, and everybody knows it. A builder whore, and but she didn't teach her well because if you taught her well then she would have been going after the 50 cents the games i mean i'm sorry not the game but the 50 cents the jay-z's the um dj Khaled's, the the drakes the futures of the industry because they got all the money or either those guys or the producers of those guys because those guys is on the winning team and have been for some years the game, on the other hand, I don't know. I didn't Google his assets or, I mean, his uh, net worth or anything. But I think the game is worth about $7 million. And to us, that's a whole lot of money. But to, you know, rich people, quote, unquote, quote, rich people out there in L.A. in the industry, that's not a lot of money. And he lives in L.A., you really flip that to about two million when you talk about the cost of living as far as homes and all that stuff the cost of living is sky high in la and has been for years and with all this inflation going on it's probably triple double or double triple or double or triple quadruple so two seven million is probably totaling out to about two million if that and not to mention, the game don't even have access to his own money. No, because he has a, a judgment against him 
to pay someone seven million dollars or five million i think it's five million to some chick that was on one of his reality shows guess who's dating the game or whatever the show was called or who wants to date with the game or whatever for um sexual assault or inappropriate touching or whatever and now in his defense and i feel like the girl is a trainee i'm sorry you know she thinks she's beautiful and all this and that but i, I don't know i feel like i don't know i, I heard that through the great front vine but i don't know if that was true so um allegedly but i don't know if that's true it's probably just an ugly rumor but look he doesn't have access to the little money he got he has to hide his money through someone else just so the lady don't get her hands on it just so the courts won't make him pay he gotta have his money through someone else through someone else's bank account and accounts <clears throat> whack 100 yeah so girl sana sana shana whatever her name is what are you really getting from this so you know i don't know y'all these women these garden tools these builder whores whatever you want to call them. and you know what in, in evelyn's defense you know she came online because you know she is a savage i don't care what nobody say and quite frankly i i feel like she thinks she's better than certain people i'm not gonna say what color i think she thinks she's better than certain women of a particular color but um and that's just my opinion but the way she handled og i mean i feel like her true colors came out of you if you guys watch basketball wise you know who og is um and the way she handled og the things she was saying about og this is why i feel like she feels like she's better or prettier than certain women of a certain color and i'm gonna just leave that at that but And she's a crybaby, basically. She's, Evelyn barks and barks and bites, but at the same token, always crying. Always, always crying. And in this little clip, you know, you could tell at the beginning of it or prior to her going online, she was crying. And, and she even said she was crying, but she played it off like as if she was crying about something else or whatever, whatever. And she's probably crying about all the things that she's hearing about her baby. You know, and and it, and it is a it, it it it's upsetting to hear negative stuff about your kids. I get it. That's why I'm not really talking about the girl or the lady too bad. But like it or love it, she made the decision to lay down with the games. With the game, I mean, she 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 knew that was your friend. She knows she been seeing that girl or that lady for years, for years and years. She knows this. She's been at the parties. She's been at the gatherings. She's been over at the house. When the lady then came over to visit you, she's probably gone with you over to her house before she knows that this is the game's uh, baby mama or the baby daddy or whatever the case may be. She knows. But she made the decision to sleep with him anyway. And the only reason why I could see that she made the decision to actually do that and not use protection and actually have the child is for a bag. I mean, this would be her first kid, I think. And, you know, she may be a woman that's not into abortions, not advocating that. But I'm just saying it's really not a bag to be got or to be had too much. Because, like I said, the man don't even have access to his own funds. So, I'm going to let y'all hear the clip. You guys have probably heard the clip, but listen to it anyway. Listen to it again. Listen to how savage Evelyn is. Because she, and don't get me wrong, I know she's going to ride for her daughter. And that's what you're supposed to do as a mother. But you didn't have to just, just disregard the friendship. She basically said she wasn't friends with the woman. And just because she was in a picture with her don't mean that they was best friends. And it doesn't mean... That you guys were best friends. However, in this picture here, if you look closely, it's Evelyn, Tiffany Cambridge, and Callie Dreams, Tiffany's daughter. You got your arm 
around the baby head. Okay? You can only do that to somebody's kid that you are close to. You close to the mother and you close to the kid. The kid, the kid is comfortable with you or around you. It's no way that a girl that I'm not really cool with and close to could ever put my child in a headlock like this. Even though it's a friendly headlock, you know, she's just gathering her head up with her arm to take the picture. But there's no way a girl that I ain't cool with could do that to my child. So, Evelyn, miss us with that. Miss us with that lie that you was not cool or close with Tiffany. Okay? But like I said, I know she's upset that she's hearing all this negative stuff about her daughter. But don't disassociate the friendship. Just be like, well, you know what? My daughter made a mistake. Or my... I would even went with her daughter didn't know that they were cool or that they were that close or... She's never really seen Tiffany. or I would have went with that. It's far-fetched because I don't know how many pictures out there online with um, with her daughter in the picture with Tiffany. But I would have went with that. That would have been good because there's no way of any of us knowing if that's true or not. But to say that you wasn't really cool with the lady, I, I think that's savage. <sighs> but anyway, listen to the video, guys. Drop down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like the video, subscribe, hit your notifications, and until next time, ciao. I'm literally sitting here cracking up and thinking to myself, uh, first of all, my face is a little red because I was emotional about something, something good. But anyway, so because I'm on the other side of it, right, and you guys follow like these celebrities and people, um, and I know that people talk about us because of the show Who Would Date, you know, whatever is happening in our lives. But it's always interesting for me, and I talked about this recently, for me to read the stuff about myself that are just false. You know, um, oh my God, this person was best friends with that person. How dare they? Guys, stop making this shit up, okay? I and it's It's everything that you read online a lot of it is bullshit you know i don't mind like i live in my truth i say what it is but some of this stuff is crazy to read so i'm i'm anyway my message got cut off anyway the point is is that um yeah you know take the stuff you read uh with a grain of salt you know and really think about you as a person, right? When you read things and you're passionate about it or you really believe it and you're saying, oh, okay, let me go to that person's page to really tell them about themselves. But a lot of the stuff that you see is really bullshit. You know, if I was in a photo with somebody 10, 15 years ago, whatever it is, it doesn't mean we were friends. It doesn't mean we were best friends. It doesn't mean that we dated. Um, you could be in a photo with somebody or you could share space with somebody and it not be what people make it out to be, you know, and a lot of people believe this shit. So it's so interesting to me. Um, anyway, life is good. You know, um, we're good. I'm happy. Um.